the demand for energy has increased exponentially since the 19th century in this era of industrialization the demand is skyrocketing electricity is produced in several ways like burning fossil fuels using solar or wind energy or using nuclear fission however they have their own pros and cons fossil fuels release greenhouse gases nuclear power plants release dangerous nuclear wastes and there is still no measure to produce energy from a solar panel during a cloudy weather so is there any other option for clean unlimited energy well the answer may lie inside the cores of the stars the stars shine due to nuclear fusion it is a thermonuclear process which means the atoms are so hot that the electrons are separated and plasma is formed now as the nuclei are positively charged they repel each other in order to overcome the repulsion they need to be heated further in stars the gravitational force is so high that the atoms come together and fuse mainly hydrogen nuclei fuse and form one helium nucleus along with tremendous amount of energy This is the energy which scientists hope to harness in a new generation of power plant the fusion reactor but it is impossible to use such brute method to make a fusion reactor that is why alternate methods have to be thought currently there are mainly two ways for making plasma hot enough to fuse the first type of reactor uses a magnetic field to squeeze plasma in a donut shaped chamber where the reaction takes place These magnetic confinement reactors such as ITER reactor in France use superconducting electromagnets cooled with liquid helium to some degrees above absolute zero. This means they have one of the biggest temperature gradients in the universe. ITER is the largest scale fusion experiment on the planet. The project is funded and run by seven countries. It uses a tokamak which confines the plasma in a torus shape. The second type is inertial confinement reactor. It uses pulses from a very powerful laser to heat up the surface of a pellet of fuel. As a result, the fuel implodes and becomes hot enough to fuse. In fact, one of the most powerful lasers on earth is used at the National Ignition Facility in the US. Apart from these, there are other facilities which are also trying to achieve the goal. But is fusion even a good source of energy? Fusion fuels are widely available and nearly inexhaustible. Deuterium can be distilled from all forms of water while tritium will be produced during the fusion reaction as fusion neutrinos interact with lithium. Terrestrial reserves of lithium would permit the operation of fusion power plants for more than 1000 years while sea based reserves of lithium would fulfill needs for millions of years. Besides it emits no greenhouse gases though it emits radioactive wastes like tritium but in small amount and its half life is much shorter than of fission wastes at equal mass fusing atoms together in a controlled way releases nearly 4 million times more energy than a chemical reaction such as the burning of coal oil or gas and four times as much as nuclear fission reactions another thing is the risk of proliferation unlike fission reactors fusion reactors do not use fissile materials like uranium and plutonium tritium is neither fissile nor fissionable there is no way materials used in iter can be used as nuclear weapons one important part of nuclear power plants are meltdown or nuclear disasters there are many unfortunate events like chernobyl fukushima etc but these kind of accidents are not possible in a tokamak fusion device it is difficult enough to reach and maintain the precise conditions necessary for fusion if any disturbance occurs the plasma cools within seconds and the reaction stops the quantity of fuel present in the vessel at any one time is enough for a few seconds only and there is no risk of a chain reaction so is fusion the energy source we are looking for and are we going to see fusion reactors powering our houses soon well the answer is sadly no because all of the experiments on fusion are still in very early phase and it takes more energy to operate the reactor than the output it gives so fusion is not commercially viable and it still has a lot of challenges to face but as a new source of carbon free baseload electricity producing no long lived radioactive wastes fusion could make a positive contribution to the challenges of resource availability reduced carbon emissions and fission waste disposal and safety issues
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड टू सी सच वीडियोज इन फ्यूचर डू सब्सक्राइब